What's up YouTube, College Lefty Gaming, and here's the part two of uh, the hitting and pitching tips video. This one is gonna be a commentary over a live gameplay. So we're going up against a really good opponent. This, actually, this guy's actually a top player. Uh, he's gone 12-0 in Battle Royale multiple times. He's the, one of the best teams I've played uh, in this game in MLB 18 with the best record that I've seen that I've gone up against actually. So uh, I think he was 49 and 12 at the time of this at the time of this game, something like that. About 50 and 50 and 12, somewhere in there. Similar record to me, but uh, I wanted to show a lot of this game because it was a great game. Yeah, 49 and 12 is his record. So we got Oral Hershiser on the mound. I'm really going to try to use that sinker away here and mix up that sinker away inside as well as the cutter inside to set up that sinker inside, if that makes sense. So using the pitches that break in off the plate to set up the pitches that come back over the plate. To also set up there is a curveball. That's gonna that's gonna help me set up the changeup as well as I'm not gonna really throw the four seam fastball with Hershiser too much just because there's no point to. The sinker is about the same velocity and it moves a lot more. So there I'm trying to get him to chase. I know this guy is a really really patient hitter. I, I know he's gonna he's gonna work the count. He's I right there I messed up. I missed over the plate there with my analog meter. And uh, if you notice, I'm trying to bring that cutter inside now after throwing that sinker, and we get him to, uh, he made great contact there. He hit the ball hard, just right to the shortstop. It's kind kind of, uh, that's kind of his bread and butter for the for Oral Hershizers, mixing up that cutter and sinker inside, setting it up away, try to get the opponent to chase just off the plate, because uh, Hershizer is more of a contact pitcher. He's not gonna strike out a ton of guys, but he is going to uh, have a lot of movement and pitch to pitch to contact effectively. So here we're able to get one, two, three inning, which you don't really see too often versus a, an elite player like Razor. He's uh, he's always good. He's been good for the past few years in MLB. I think ever since he started playing the game, just naturally good at it. Here uh, I didn't show the first first pitch there with Stanton. I don't believe, but Stanton has the first pitch quirk as I was talking about earlier. So I got to be really careful with with what pitches I do throw to him. There I was able to get him on a changeup uh, against a really good player like this. I know he's going to be sitting on inside pitches, trying to turn on those things, so trying to get that sinker in on the plate. There I missed over the plate a little bit with the analog meter. That's another thing, if you guys keep in mind where I'm putting these pitches and, and spotting them up. When I uh, bring this one just out, a little bit outside the plate, if I miss the hoop to the right, it's going to be in the other batter's box. If I miss the hoop to the left, it's going to be right down the middle there. It was just to the left of the the left of the hoop there, so it ended up being in the zone, but not as much break as I wanted to on that cutter. And then that sets up that pitch right there, which is the sinker inside. And I mean, I used to be a pitcher in college. I pitched for my whole life in high school and in college. I, I played baseball um, in the outfield and first base. I was a lefty. So I have a really good mindset when attacking when attacking hitters. I try to set up the pitchers pitches to the best of my ability with my knowledge. I mean, I, I personally threw a sinker, so I know how hard, of, how hard of a pitch that is to hit. And with any fastball with movement, especially in this video game, is uh, is tough to hit, I, especially after the patch. But one thing I want to keep the, to explain to you guys while uh, while I hit here is when I'm pitching, it's hard to double up and triple up on certain pitches because because in this game you're not just facing one guy and then you only face that dude three times. You're facing the same dude and he's looking at the same screen for the whole game. So it's it's going to be easier to adjust. It's going to be hard to double up on certain pitches. But um, yeah, so I mean here, I'm looking for a pitch low in the zone there on that double play. I know he's gonna try to induce the double play and I power swung on it anyways. I got a little bit on top of it and just grounded it out. I should have been more selective. But at the same time, I mean, I, I hit the ball pretty well there. Just didn't get just didn't get the result I was looking for. Same thing here with Chris Bryant. I, I started to be more a little bit more patient as the game went on. That's one thing is, is I try to figure out where the pitcher for the other team is throwing the ball, what, what his tendencies are. And I mean, Razor Sharp, he's just too good of a player. He was mixing it up very well. I hadn't faced Noah Syndergaard. And he's just, I mean, he's just a great player. I mean, I, I probably could have had a, a couple runs. I mean, not so far, but throughout the game, I probably could have scored a few more runs or uh, had a few extra hits than I did, but it is what it is. That's just my approach towards the, coming towards the uh, towards the hitter here. I'm trying to throw that cutter away, mix it up with the sinker sinker away as well. Trying to get it to the backdoor cutter, or I mean backdoor sinker, and then trying to get that cutter just on the plate, on the corner there. Go 3-0, and then now I have to kind of make a couple pitches there. Luckily, he uh, he swung 3-1, kind of bailed me out a little bit. I would have had to make a couple good pitches, 
and especially against Razor, a top player, you don't want to you don't want to uh, get yourself behind in counts. You want to attack the zone and attack the corners of the zone as well as just off the plate. I mean, you don't want to throw the ball in the zone every time or else you're going to get crushed against good players. So I'm really using, I've thrown a lot of sinkers in this game. I threw a lot of fastballs in total here. I was trying to throw that curveball away. I missed the, missed the meter and luckily just got lucky there and still had a good pitch even though I did miss inside on the meter. He was able to Still throw a pretty decent pitch with a good amount of break. Probably threw Razor off guard there. But, I mean, it's nothing's really going to phase this guy at the plate. He's a really patient hitter. Even if I was to get the lead, he's going to be even more patient. That's what separates really good players from, I'd say, average players is that when how they play when they're losing. As well as, uh, yeah, their approach at the plate changes a little bit as the game goes on. That's really what I try to figure out is the player's tendencies in the first few innings. And I mean, I'm most likely going to be more more aggressive than I normally would be in the beginning of the game. Here I'm, I set up, I set up and threw that sinker away to Curtis Granderson the first at bat, and I also did it again the second at bat. That's also a, a big thing to keep in mind is your pitch sequence and remembering what you threw to that hitter before, because chances are your opponent's going to remember. Um, you can never really underestimate your opponent. You don't know how much baseball knowledge that they ha that they do have. So you want to, you really want to try to get every advantage that you that you can. But here we're facing Willie Stargell. I'm trying to get that ground ball double play. I've been attacking the sinker inside, so I know he's going to be looking for that pitch soon. I mean, if he if he's not already, he probably is. I'm still going with that pitch though because I, that is Hershiser's best pitch is that sinker. He has the sinker baller quirk, which I went over in the last video. Just has so much movement on it. It's really hard to square up. And I'm also trying to set up that cutter. The cutter has low confidence right now. I've, I haven't pitched it, thrown it well in this game. That's another thing to keep in mind when you're trying to pitch is uh, the confidence on individual pitches. That's gonna allow it to break more, break less, depending on the meter. Uh, his control is gonna be, gonna be dependent on that. Here I kind of challenged Stanton there through a cutter. I wanted that off the plate away and caught too much of the plate. I missed with the meter a little bit over the plate there on the top of that uh, analog screen there. Same with this cutter. Just did not get it inside enough. And that's the thing, if you put, put the pitch just a ball in off the plate and miss over the plate, it's gonna be a, a pretty much hanging, hanging pitch. It's a cutter right down the middle. If you miss in and you're already too far in, you're probably gonna hit him. So it's it's a tough pitch to get. You definitely have to get used to, to dotting up that cutter or that sinker inside. Cause if you do miss one way or the other, you're gonna pay the price. So. I paid the price there with a the run instead of hitting the batter, which didn't, that doesn't help. I mean, I would have rather hit the batter there, but anytime you, you lead off, a, give up a leadoff home run, you're expecting to, to start up an inning. You're expecting that the pitcher's confidence is gonna go down. You're expecting to either take a mound visit, give up a couple hits, or, or get the bullpen going, which is exactly what I did here. Even though his pitcher is up at the plate, I was preparing for the next, next inning, as well as I didn't know if he was gonna pinch hit for his pitcher right now, since we are in the fifth inning. I, this is the first time I had played Razor, even though he is a friend of mine. I know he's very good. I hadn't played him before. I didn't know how he uh, how he plays, so I'm trying to adjust to his style of play as well as play my game because I'm not going to uh, go too far away from my game. So there I, I dotted up a sinker inside. He probably thought it was a cutter. That's kind of what I'm trying to do is mix it up. Sinkers and cutters. So that way I can set up those other pitches that Hershiser does throw. I mean, he didn't have a bad outing in this game. Gave up gave up a run so far already. But uh, pretty close game for a guy that's a really good player. A lot better than me, most likely. I mean, he just, just competes with the best. I know he's played multiple top players and in 17 was one of the best players in the game. So that definitely this guy just knew how to pitch. He knew how to play every aspect of the game. And, and so far he's outplayed me in every every way possible. And that's, not, and I wanted to show, it's kind of strange to show a tips video while I'm losing and actually getting shut out. But at the same time, like throughout this game, I was, I was hitting the ball okay. I definitely could have had some better at bats, but my pitching is definitely my strongest suit in this game. So, I, and I wanna focus mostly on that. That's how I stay in games. That's how I, I give my offense a chance to win with only a few runs type of thing. But because I am able to attack and, and locate pitches for the most part. When I do lose and get blown out, it's it's almost entirely on my pitching. 
There I'm trying to get that sinker low and away so he rolls over into a double play, whether that's the second or shortstop. This, I tried to slide step there. I wasn't sure if he's gonna steal and that just affected my pitch, which sets up the next pitch and I missed away, missed right over the plate. It would have been a good sinker if I had gotten it inside. I think it might've done the job. It, it's too tough to tell. But anyway, I missed my spot and he got a base hit on it. So now I'm really trying to minimize, got Willie Stargell. Here I make, a, I make a tough call. I went for the play at the plate. I could have probably, I maybe would have had a double play there. With 74 speed running to second, he might have even been second at, or safe at second. And I might have only got the one out. So I didn't end up, didn't get any outs there. And I tried to uh, keep the game closer than, than a two run deficit. So, I mean, that was kind of a, a risky play there. I, I went for the, the runner at the plate rather than taking the sure outs or the sure out anyways. And that's probably going to affect me. I'm probably going to, I was thinking at this time, I'm going to give up another run, possibly more with uh, with his stacked offensive lineup here. This is that flashback Adrian Beltre from the collections. He's got that too low. He's just got a bunch of players. Razor almost has Vladimir Guerrero. He's getting closer to him. He has like all the programs and exchanges done for the Immortals and everything. So, I mean, he's a really good player. I, I know I said that a few times, but I just wanted to show you guys that that, I mean, I'm able to keep up with some of the, the elite players in this game. I also posted a few other f friendly games, and I have some other clips of some games that I played against some top players, and and I'm, I've, I haven't been blown out or anything like that, so I've been able to hold my own. Here we're going down another run there. Piazza comes up to the plate, and I got my the gold goose gossage out there on the mound. At this point, I'm ready to use all my bullpen arms. I don't know how this game's gonna go at this, and luckily I'm able to get a ground ball and get out of it. And so it's minimize the inning is huge, especially against top players. And now, right now I only have one hit. Syndergaard's still out there on the mound, throwing a lot of good pitches. I mean, I'm just, I'm not hitting the ball, I'm not squaring it up right. I'm looking for a pitch kind of low in the zone. He was pitching me a lot of low pitches, but he was occasionally mixing up a high slider, a high sinker, you know, throwing the slider up and away. You really wanna just hit all, all uh, corners of the zone type of thing keep your opponent off balance and that's what, exactly what Razor did right there he just I was looking for more of a curveball low and away or a change up as he's been throwing a lot with that I just that hard slider just know Syndergaard has a great repertoire especially when you go up against somebody who really knows how to use them I mean anybody anybody can pitch in this game and if you go up against a guy that really knows how to pitch it's just it's just an extra extra thing you have to deal with so I did bring in Trey Turner off the bench, uh, I drew a walk and I was able to try. I tried to pinch run just to try to score a run here, and I I didn't try to steal or cheese cheese razor. I wouldn't do that against the friendly game. So I I mean I didn't steal. I stole second, but I didn't steal third or even attempt to steal third. I wanted to let Matt Kemp try to hit. Flew out to the track there, and then the created player grounds out. Here was a really good pitch. Change up low below the zone to Curtis Granderson with Pat Neshek on the mound, and Razor just sat on it hit it against the shift the ball goes all the way to the wall easily could have had had a triple on that I think I just don't know why he didn't go maybe he thought it was uh wasn't worth the risk with two outs I don't, I don't even know if there was two outs at the time I might have gotten another out before then but anyways he hits a I think he he power swung on that just rips it right by the second baseman my creative player just barely missed it but that was a pretty good pitch I mean that's the thing Razor's been hitting good pitches thrown it's not like the only one that he has hit that I messed up was the cutter to Bryce Harper. Every other hit has been earned by him. He's hit good pitches. I haven't really made too many mistakes. I guess the first hit with his created player up the middle on that sinker was another miss mislocation. I mean, if you take a look, I'm trying to attack. He, he knows exactly how I'm trying to attack him, though. Against a good player like this, I mean, you can't really take a deficit. You have to really keep the game close. I mean, four runs just wasn't enough. I, I really only had two hits in that game. I probably could have had like five or six. I felt like I had a couple balls that were squared up that just didn't get rewarded, but it is what it is. That's what happens when you face a really good pitcher who's most likely getting good feedback on, on all their pitches, you know? I mean, he, Razor, Razor knows what he's doing. He's not gonna go out there and hang pitches like I hung that slider or that cutter and that sinker. So he got the dub in this one. Let me know if you got if this helps you guys out. I will definitely have some more tips and gameplay. But have a great day, guys. Peace.